It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek, and in today's video, I'm showing you the menu at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay's new restaurant at Caesars Palace was originally a television show, and now it's a centerpiece of the Las Vegas Strip. It's his fifth restaurant in Las Vegas. He's got the Steakhouse at Paris, the Fish and Chips at The Link, Gordon Ramsay Burger at Planet Hollywood, and the pub at Caesars. Now, Hell's Kitchen, the TV show, comes to life. You can dine in the Hell's Kitchen restaurant, and it's just outside Caesars Palace. So let's take a look at the menu and see what there is to eat. For appetizers, start with oysters on the half shell. That's your thing. It's a half dozen oysters, with the HK Mignonette and Gin Cocktail Sauce. What's a Mignonette, you ask? Well, I ask. Well, it's that condiment that's served with raw oysters made of vinegar, black pepper, and shallots. And that's $21. The Shrimp Cocktail with a Gin Cocktail Sauce is $17. It looks like gin is a recurring theme on the Hell's Kitchen menu. I know gin is a popular spirit in the UK, going back to the gin craze of the 18th century. You can get avocado toast at Hell's Kitchen for $14. It's a mashed avocado on multi-grain bread with heirloom radishes and toasted sunflower seeds. Now that's a trend I thought had gone away Apparently, it's here to stay. Frito misto, that's deep fried bits and pieces of shellfish like calamari and shrimp, is served with a lemon aioli, and it's $16. The truffle arancini are $12. Arancini are Italian stuffed rice balls. It's basically a, a ball of rice with cheese inside that's deep fried. And here they come with black winter truffles. A little excessive if you ask me. The HK hot wings are $16 and they're served with a hellfire hot sauce, which sounds hot. And the Wagyu meatballs. The Wagyu is the famous Japanese beef the cows that are cared for so delicately that the marbling of their meat melts in your mouth. And Gordon Ramsay has turned that into meatballs for $18. For soups and salads, you could start with the tuna niçoise. That's a salad named after Nice, France. And it's a famously odd concoction here made with bib lettuce, haricot vert, hard-cooked egg, roasted tomatoes, and fingerling potatoes for $21. The golden beet salad is also $21. And golden beets, well, they're just like the purple beets, except they're yellow, and they taste just as much like beets, unfortunately. Here served with Greek yogurt, kumquats, pistachio granola, and a white balsamic vinaigrette. The red quinoa salad, another trendy item like avocado. Here the quinoa is served with honeycrisp apples, dried apricots, goat cheese, toasted hazelnuts, and a honey vinaigrette. The Caesar salad appropriate here at Caesar's Palace, although not named after the Roman Emperor, but instead a restaurateur from Tijuana, Mexico. Here you can get it as is for $16, with grilled chicken for $23, or grilled shrimp for $25. And pumpkin soup with spicy chorizo, that's sausage, creme fraiche, that's cream 
and toasted pepitas. Those are pumpkin seeds. $12 a bowl. On the sandwiches and flatbreads portion of the menu, the standard burger with lettuce, tomato, pickle, cheddar, fancy sauce, and french fries, $19, and that sounds pretty standard. The prime burger comes with seared foie gras. Well, that's anything but standard. Foie gras is fattened duck liver. It also comes with gruyere, grilled onion, arugula, and fries. And that's $25. And the Hell's Kitchen Burger. Not to be confused with the Hell's Kitchen Burger on the menu at Gordon Ramsay Burger at Planet Hollywood, which is a completely different burger and a completely different price at $15. Here at Hell's Kitchen, the namesake burger comes with bacon, avocado, Fresno pepper jam, crispy onions, ghost pepper jack cheese, and fries, and it's $22. The grilled chicken sandwich with avocado, oven roasted tomatoes, Bloomsdale spinach, herb aioli, and fingerling potato chips is $19. And the beer battered cod sandwich like the Hell's Kitchen Burger can be had at another of Gordon Ramsay's establishments, in this case, Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips at the link. But it's an entirely different fish witch. This one with red cabbage coleslaw, creme fraiche, tartar sauce, and fingerling potato chips, $20. It's also more expensive here. But it is a finer place to dine than over at the Chippy. The short rib grilled cheese. Now that's a sandwich sure to please cheese lovers and meat lovers. Short rib is one of the most succulent meats. And grilled cheese is one of the most decadent sandwiches. Here it's served on sourdough bread with caramelized onion, white cheddar cheese, and fingerling potato chips, $19. The wild mushroom flatbread. Got wild mushrooms, truffle gouda, grilled onions, and Bloomsdale spinach. Well, that just screams fancy. $19. The harvest flatbread, roasted butternut squash, kale, caramelized shallots, ricotta cheese, and caper berries, also known as capers, $18. And the charcuterie flatbread, that's the meaty one. With pepperoni, capicola, salami, prosciutto, mozzarella, $20. And now for the mains, the entrees. Crispy skin salmon, $29. It's served with beluga lentils. Sounds like caviar, but they just look like caviar. A shaved fennel salad and a citrus herb beurre blanc. Brick pressed chicken for $24 with lacinato kale, a sweet potato hash, and chicken jus. And a dry aged New York strip steak. $39 for a big piece of meat with mushrooms, shishito peppers, demi glace sauce, and fries. Hell's Kitchen also serves breakfast all day, lunch or dinner. Not in the morning though, they don't open till 11. You get chicken and waffles, which is chicken and waffles, $19. Or eggs in purgatory. Purgatory, famously, the way station between heaven and hell, where sinners work off their misdeeds, waiting for ascension. And here, you get to spend purgatory with eggs and a spicy tomato sauce and Valbresso feta cheese. That's a particularly rich and creamy sheep's milk cheese. $17. 
There's also a Hell's Kitchen Express three course lunch menu. It's a set menu for lunch for $60. It's your choice of a Caesar salad or pumpkin soup. The main is Beef Wellington and it comes with dessert, sticky toffee pudding. You can pair each of these courses with wine and that brings your lunch total to $95. So that's what's at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen for lunch. But I'm thinking you want to go for dinner. I mean, if you're spending all that money, $95 on lunch, or maybe you should just go for dinner. And the dinner menu is quite a bit different. Let's take a look and see what there is to eat. You can start your dinner off with chilled seafood, like the Hell's Kitchen Grand Shellfish Tower. This is a literal tower of shellfish, lobster, king crab legs, Jonah crab claws, gulf shrimp, oysters, clams. Is there any seafood they've forgotten? Doesn't look like it. And it will cost you $49 per person. They also have oysters on the half shell for $31 a dozen and shrimp cocktail with gin cocktail sauce, $17. The rest of the appetizers, similar to the lunch menu, Wagyu meatballs, $18, scampi prawn flambe, $24, pan-seared scallops with celery root, braised bacon lardons, and pickled Granny Smith apples, $19. I could go for that. Seared foie gras, $25. I couldn't go for that. Lobster risotto, butter poached lobster tail with butternut squash and sage, $24. And tuna tartare with a soy chili vinaigrette, pickled Fresno chilies, and cilantro for $19. For soups and salads, you've got your smoked golden beet salad, $21. Caesar salad, $16. Red quinoa salad, $16. And that pumpkin soup, $12. Now, for the entrees. It's dinner. It's all about the entrees. Of course, the Beef Wellington. Now, if you've never had Beef Wellington before, this is probably the entree you should order. It's a pretty spectacular piece of cooking, no matter where you get it. But of course, it's one of Gordon Ramsay's signature dishes. It's a big piece of beef inside a puff pastry. And if that doesn't sound good to you, well, you're at the wrong restaurant. The herb crusted rack of lamb with Vaduvan carrots and Bloomsdale spinach and Harissa lamb jus. Vaduvan is a type of Indian spice mix. So that's a lot of flavor, $39. The braised short rib with creamy polenta, baby vegetables, and beef jus, $34. Brick pressed chicken with the kale and sweet potato hash, $29. Crispy skin salmon with those beluga lentils, a shaved fennel salad, citrus herb bear blanc, $32. And broiled Alaskan cod with a spicy olive tapenade and patatas bravas. And those are crispy potatoes. $30. And there are three more entrees to choose from, specifically designated as from the grill. Filet mignon, that's eight ounces of beef with roasted tomatoes, bernays, $47. A dry-aged New York strip, 12 ounces of meat with glazed wild mushrooms, shishito peppers, and red wine demi-glace, $49. And a prime 30-day dry-aged porterhouse for two, 32 ounces, with a choice of two side dishes and a Bernays sauce, $125. It's for two. There is also a prefix menu for dinner. 
for $69. Your first course is a choice of pan-seared scallops or Caesar salad. The main course, again, beef wellington. I mean, you're here at Hell's Kitchen. And for dessert, the sticky toffee pudding with speculus ice cream. And you can also pair each of these with wine for $120. So that's the menu at Hell's Kitchen. There's a whole nother drinks menu for cocktails and mocktails. And some of these do look pretty intriguing, like the notes from Gordon made with gin, the pitchfork made with bourbon, and the Scottish kiss made with scotch. Even the mocktails look good. I've got my eye on the yuzu lemonade. Hell's Kitchen is open every day at 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. and until 11 on Friday and Saturday. Reservations are recommended. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Hell's Kitchen at Caesar's Palace. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.